Why hello there everyone, Spencer here, also known as LEGO Dude 11, and in today's video, this is a brand new TV vlog coming to you from the LEGO Dude 11 studio. Here I am. And uh, in today's vlog, today I am reviewing, sharing a movie with you. And if you're wondering why I'm not sitting down here, like normal, it's because this is not a high profile thing. If you kind of wonder to yourself, why do I not always sit down in the chair? Why am I not the guy in the chair and sit down and give my full thoughts? Well. It's because I like to do that for more high-profile things. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a movie on my TV and giving you my awesome, raw, not kind of raw, thoughts on this film. If you don't like this, get out. But if you want to listen, please join me and hear all my thoughts. So let's get to it, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do apologize if the camera was a little blurry there on my face, but I'm sharing with you another face on the TV. Kind of a nice segue. I don't know. That was kind of interesting. I didn't. I didn't know that I was going to be talking about faces here today, which I've, I I like to do with my friends. I don't know why. Anyway, um, this is the Peter Pan and Wendy movie on Di strictly came out streaming on Disney Plus yesterday, the day of this recording. But um, I'm airing this video, or publishing this video a week later. But I. Saw this movie, David came out, it was on streaming, I was at home, and I was planning to watch it anyways, it wasn't like it was a spur of the moment thing, it was like, oh yeah, I'm at home, and let me watch it, no, I was actually quite anticipating this movie, for various reasons, and I'm gonna let you know why, I'm gonna sit down here actually, and the description of the movie, like, I'm kind of sidetracking myself, but the description of the movie says a girl and her brothers find themselves on a thrilling adventure um, with the boy who refuses to grow up, this is basically a live action adaptation of Peter Pan, and as I was reading the description of this movie, not the, not the description here, the, the the like Wikipedia page or like I Googled something about the movie, and it said that this movie is based off of it it said the 1953 classic Peter Pan and Wendy. So I'm not quite sure if there's another adaptation of the original Peter Pan movie that, that was that then that was called Peter Pan and Wendy. Or if this is a direct adaptation, or live action adaptation of just the original animated Peter Pan. I'm not quite sure what it is, but whatever it is, <laughs> it was a, I really enjoyed this movie because I, I'm not a um, cynical person where it's like, oh my god, they're putting this straight on streaming, it's gonna fail. Oh my gosh, Disney this, Disney that. Like, I think some things Disney current currently right now are not working. And I can't tell you anything on the fly, like off the top of my head, what I think is working and not working. Just the reason I can't tell you that is because I it, it takes me a little bit to figure out like, oh yeah, this isn't what worked. Because let me say something. Um, if you guys don't know my channel, I like the She-Hulk show. It had some missteps for sure for Marvel, but as a comedy, in my opinion, it worked. But don't come at me as like, a, oh my God, you like She-Hulk. Yeah, I did. Come at me. But like, this was entirely different on a little bit of a different level. Like, there's let, – let, let me just say something. They make Tinkerbell a <clears> – <throat> Tinkerbell is not the same as she was in the original movie. They they change her skin. Okay. I have nothing against that, but they don't they don't promote this movie as all about gender politics or anything like that. It's called Peter Pan and Wendy for a reason. It's not called Wendy. It, it, I'm serious. If it was if this movie was called Wendy, I'd be a little bit confused. I'm like, okay, so what's the movie about? Fast food? Like, <laughs> like Wendy's? Yeah, burgers and fries. No, I, but like. Having the name Peter Pan and Wendy there signifies that they're a duo, signifies what the purpose of this movie is and how the journey with both of them. Um, I don't know. I, I just really like it. I, I really like the concept that they were going for. Um, the fact – as I was watching the movie let, – let me just continue except for my rant for Disney. Let me just continue. Um, I feel like that this was a good – when I say when, – when people are like, oh. Another live action Disney adaptation. Why are we doing this again? Like the the, the, the typical white, white girl trope thing. Like, seriously? Like, why are we doing this again? Oh my God. Like, that's so last year. Like, why are we doing that? This was pretty good, actually. Um, if you're one of those people that is annoyed by it, I would recommend this one. 
Um, even though there's typical things like, yes, there's girls in it. Yes, the Lost Boys have girls in it. It doesn't make really much sense, but they're trying to modernize type things. And if you're annoyed with that, don't watch it. But if you want a good performance, if you want to watch good performances, watch this movie. I felt like Pinocchio was so panned and, oh man, what was the other one? Not, I like the Aladdin live action. Like th this just feels like it has good performances in it and it's not overdoing it. Even down here, even the Jungle Book, I really like that one too. I felt like a, um, it felt more grounded. Even though there's magic in this movie, it felt some of it felt grounded, like with human emotions. I don't know. I felt connected. Is is this word I'm looking for? Um, but yeah, look, just I, I I've totally not been talking about this. Jude Law as Captain Hook, right there. He's great in this movie, and Captain Mister Smee. Is Jim Gaffigan. I think they re work really well together and and such. I I'm not aware of the actor who played Peter Pan, but the girl who played Wendy was the girl was the was the young version of Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow in the Black Widow movie, uh, who who had dyed blue hair. She doesn't have dyed blue hair here, but it's really neat casting. Tiger Lily has a nice role. I mean, she's not in a, a super lot of a, 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 a huge amount of time, but I mean. The characters are pretty cool, pretty nice. I mean, like I said, the Lost Boys, there's a couple girls in the Lost Boys, but that doesn't bother me a whole lot. Um, I here, Here's my problem with people nowadays. They're like, oh my God, there's like girls in the Lost Boys. This is what Disney's doing now. It's like, I think that some studios would probably try to do the same thing, incorporate modern, modern um, life into into media like i i don't know it's just it's whatever it's really whatever um because they say we're the lost boys yeah but you're not boys yeah but who cares it's like we were we were uh kids like peter pan found us and then now we're in neverland and, and we're in this group called the lost boys it's like freshmen in high school it's like there's girls as a freshman it's not like we're fresh women i, I I don't know. I, that's just my point. It, maybe you think about it differently. I, I don't know how else to explain it. But if you take on a different approach with that, it's all you. And if, if you have an issue with it, don't watch the movie. But I found this movie really compelling. Um, Not the best movie I've ever seen and not the best Disney movie, but better. I was I think it was better than I expected. I was like, okay, it's going to be a throwaway movie. Honestly, I can tell you right now, I did not watch the uh, Pinocchio movie that came out last year. And people were like, don't watch it, don't watch it, don't watch it. This is worth the watch. Um, because there was a scene I saw, a clip on YouTube from the Pinocchio movie, and I thought it was really bad. Like, I didn't watch the entire Pinocchio movie. But this is, like, way better than whatever that Pinocchio thing was. So, uh, yeah, I uh, like this one. Honestly, I'm surprised because the score on Rotten Tomatoes, the, the score is, I, I'm i more on the critic side of things. They're like, I haven't looked at it today but yesterday when i looked at it it was like 75 critic and then like 26 audience i am shocked i'm not with the audience on that one at all but anyway those are all my thoughts on peter pan and wendy um a little bit of a disney rant I'm not really ranting but just wanted to let you guys know my full and honest thoughts of this movie because i quite enjoyed it i really did um i was i was just surprised really surprised and another note i want to end with before i move on before I end, I guess I should say, before I uh, conclude, is about live-action movies. But not just live-action. Live-action Disney remakes. Like I mentioned before with this movie, this is not a beat-by-beat -beat remake. Did I mention that? This is not a beat-by-beat -beat remake, which I find really fascinating. Um, again, I, I haven't seen, like, you know, it's not a beat-by-beat -beat remake. I just said that, like, five times. But the way they make this movie, because like they have like the introduction with Peter Pan, which is really cool. That feels like a beat by beat, but then like the, the then the, like the rest of the movie isn't. And there's some live action adaptations that feels like a beat by beat remake, kind of the Jungle Book, um, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin. But Aladdin, they try to change things up. The new Little Mermaid film, I think, is a a looks wonderful. I'm excited for it. I'm not seeing it in theaters, but I'm excited to see how well it does, and then watch it later. But this, watching after watching this, I have high hopes. Um, I, I know this was on streaming, but the way it surprised me was like, okay, okay, you you have promise 
that you can do well, really well for a theater uh, reaction for people at the little, the new Little Mermaid. So I'm quite intrigued to see how well they do after putting this on streaming. Like if people watch it at all, I mean, I, I, I did, but I'm not the target audience. Well, I kind of am a target audience because I'm a Disney fan. But any, anyway, <laughs> rambling on here. Let me know what you thought of this film. Are you gonna watch it? Not watch it? Are you gonna? Are you excited? Maybe you did watch it and you're like me. Like, yeah, you're excited for more live action stuff. Maybe you are going to see Little Mermaid. Maybe you're going to watch this Roku thing pop up. I don't know because I don't really want that to happen. But <laughs> I don't want that to pop up. But what do you think about Disney? Not Disney overall. What do you think about this live action stuff? Um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If I get any comments, I would love to see yours down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Stay tuned for more videos like this. And next week, this coming weekend, I'm seeing Guardians of the Galaxy volume three that in this coming week next week will be my vlog and review for that so stay tuned for that as always don't forget to like subscribe follow me don't forget to keep calm play lego uh be sure to follow me on instagram boba vegetarian master links down below don't forget to keep calm play lego peace out everyone bye